What's up, it's Jamani. I'm currently working at this Motel 6. Been making a lot of changes in my life. Um, I've been feeling pretty content lately, or I've been trying to feel very content. Uh, just appreciate all the things that I have. So, I've been working here for about a month now. Um, you know, overnight. It's about three o'clock in the morning. You know, I don't really do too much other than sit here, watch the cameras. Um, I might check in about four to five people, Friday, Saturday. That's when it's the busiest. I might check in about 10 to 12. Um, only thing I really have to worry about is like complaints and, you know, picking up phone calls, people asking if we have any rooms. It's kind of slow today. So I'm just gonna um, go in a couple rooms, give y'all a tour of the motel. So this is obviously like the the, 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 the first the main entrance, like the lobby area. Um, has some vending machines, washing machine, dryer. So yeah, I, I feel like I came a long way from, I don't think somebody about to come in. Um, I came a long way from a lot of the controversy. Oh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, all right. All right, she doesn't need anything. Um, she probably would have said something if she did, but from the lights. I'm still trying to figure out how to work all the lights in here. There you go. So, um, this is a two bed. Let's go in the bathroom. Bathroom's kind of, I think this is a handicap, so. Um, I'm not even sure what to say, but, you know, this is, it's, you know, I'm getting kind of used to working here. Uh, my first impressions of the motel wasn't that good compared to me working in a hotel. Obviously, the maintenance is, is a lot different from hotel to motel, or at least it should be, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is two bed handicap. And let's go in a few different more rooms. Let me see. I got I got the list of rooms, so I got to figure out these are all the vacant rooms i'm gonna shut the lights off in the bathroom where's the, where's the lights at? you know what i'm about to leave them on because i don't oh okay next room is um, 112 so that's gonna be Right here. It's three o'clock in the morning and people are still kind of like in and out. Um, so yeah, as far as uh, my experience working at the Motel 6, at least this Motel 6, uh, I'm glad I'm working overnight shift because I couldn't do the morning. You know, I, I'm not interested in kicking people out, um, calling the police, things like that. That's not really um, my thing. Um, but unfortunately, you know, this is a business. It's not a homeless shelter. So uh, I know families that got kicked out since I've been here, you know, people with kids and, um, you know, it's just, it's a lot of different things. So this room, this room has a uh, refrigerator and a microwave. Not all the rooms have refrigerators and microwaves. Damn, that's not even opening. Okay, it is, but yeah. So it's, you know, it's a little decent, I guess. Um, about $100 a night, uh, Friday, Saturday. It could go from anywhere from like 120 to 200 that I've seen. Um, depending on how occupied and busy uh, the motel is. This is another handicap. 
So, yeah, going in a different room. But, um, yeah, I've just been trying to better myself, you know, trying to um, just get myself together as a person, mentally, emotionally, financially, uh, managing my money better. You know, I'm still gambling. Uh, it's an addiction, so it's not as easy to stop. But I've been, you know, with both of my jobs, I'm making a $1,000 a week. So, you know, I can manage myself a lot better before, like, I was only making, like, you know, $300 a week. And if I had two jobs, I'd probably make a $500 a week. So now I'm making double, you know what I'm saying, triple the amount of money I'm used to making. Um, so, yeah, it's just, I feel like it's been, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, I just feel like everything I've been through has got me to, it's obviously got me to where I'm at now, where I could just like focus on what's really important and, you know, trying to be a content creator as far as in being famous and, you know, being in a spotlight. Like, I'm not concerned about that as much as I, as, as much as I used to be. I'm only concerned about, you know, being able to financially provide for myself and, you know, the jobs that I have, they're not really too stable. Um, for different reasons, I'm not sure how long I'm be I'm gonna be able to maintain this job and my other job. Uh, that's the only thing that could bring me back to YouTube and you know just being a content creator, uh, cause it's you know how am I gonna provide for myself and working two jobs all the time? That's kind of like it's it's I don't get no sleep. You know what I mean? So I'll make sure. Yep. Ice machine is on the second floor. Um, so it's in the, uh, it, where the laundry is. So you, you just gotta go, did you go up to the second? Yeah, I, went, I just came from that way now. Yeah, so just go to, it's gonna be to, you're gonna go straight. It's gonna be in this middle hallway um, to your left. Okay, thank yep. you. Yep. I was trying to avoid her, but um, okay. It's three o'clock in the morning, by the way. Um, so let me see what other room is open uh 138 so mm. all right so this video is not going as smoothly as i wanted it to like i kind of just wanted to be able to you know i don't even know what i'm talking about you know i'm just kind of giving a tour to motel six you know, oh, damn, where's the light? Like, I barely, I really come into the rooms, you know, not to say anything bad, but the rooms are not, you know, to me, they're just not as, uh, main, I don't know how, how I say it. Like, they're not as clean. They're not as, you know, especially all the things that be going on in here. Um, I don't really like coming into these rooms, but this is just for, you know, content creation purposes and, you know, just giving you a tour of... This Motel 6, so, as far as the bathroom, is the bathroom, where's the light? You know what, that's, that's whatever, I'm gonna go into the next room. And I gotta make sure I'm shutting all these doors properly, but, yeah, so, oh, I gotta come check here. I seen somebody um, over here one time, I don't know what they was doing, they don't even look like they was homeless, but... You know, every time I come over here, I just check over there to see, make sure nobody not just, I don't know, doing whatever. But yeah, um, there's only there's only two floors, uh, so it's a first floor and a second floor. Let me see. I don't even know which room I'm going into next. Um, that's two two forty. All right, 240. All right, so this is, it's a non-smoking room. Um, and this is the tub. I mean, I think the shower's pretty decent, you know? It's, it's pretty clean. I mean, can't complain about this. The sink's a lot cleaner than some of the other sinks. One bed. Um, 
So, oh, just for the record, for anyone out is curious or doesn't know like why I kind of switched from, you know, work of fast food and retail to now I'm kind of just working at uh, hotels, man. Uh, getting into like the hotel industry is cause like I'm borderline homeless. So, you know, for the people that do follow me know that, you know, I sleep on the floor. And before I was sleeping on the floor, I was sleeping on the couch. Um, and I kind of just slowly, like the way how my life is going, like I'm kind of closer to homelessness than, um, you know, further away from it. And the possibility of me actually being homeless is pretty, it's more than likely. So I just started thinking to myself, you know, getting a job at a hotel slash motel that would slow down the process um, of me, like just going homeless uh, versus if I had like a job working at Walmart or if I'm working at Target, whatever, um, those jobs are not gonna help me, you know, get shelter if I need it, which of course, obviously I need it, but yeah. So um, that's how I, how I ended up working at a motel. Like I never thought about working here until I really was like, you know, it's hard to get, get approved for apartment. And then, you know, being able to pay rent consistently and be and still being able to manage my money, save money and things like that and having all the benefits that I need. Um, it's hard, man. So that's kind of how I ended up working at, you know, here, just to say, but let's go into some of the other rooms because, uh, yeah. So this is going to be where the laundry room is. So, you know, the lady had asked me for ice. This is where the ice would be. Uh, again, this is not, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know, you kind of make your own decision on what you think about this, but yeah. All right, it's kind of quiet in here, so that's, that's good. This is one of my favorite rooms. Um, So yeah, I like this room the most. Um, I don't know why. Uh, it's This is 247 and 248. Um, I just feel like if I was going to be in a room or if I was gonna be living here or something, cause some people do live here, I kind of like this room for, you know, a little bit more than the other rooms. Um, but some of the rooms are for far as for the one bed. Um, yeah, so I gotta check this room. Let me check to see which other rooms are um, vacant. I, I got this kind of list. Uh, so I'm at 247. I think I'll go to two, what is it? 240, I'm gonna go to 221. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 221. Yeah. Let's see what. Downstairs. Yeah, 221. This is a smoking area, so mo all of these rooms are smoking. This is 221. Okay. All right, um, yep, yeah, it's smoking room, so there's an ashtray there um, for people that smoke. I don't smoke, I can't stand it, but you know, um, you know, no offense to the people that do smoke and the people that drink, but you know, that's not really my thing. Uh, -uh. yeah, so this is, this is a pretty decent room too, you know, you look at outside, that's kind of can't really see out there, but yeah, this is, this is probably better than 247. There's a lot more space in here. And let me see what's next. Probably 233, maybe. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's real quiet right now. So um, usually you probably hear music playing or, um, you know, I don't know. Might hear a lot of things going on in here. So 233. Okay. Two 
Yes, I can smell the smoke in here. So, it smells like straight cigarettes in here. Sheesh. Um, uh, All right, pretty decent. You know, you have hangers. So it's not that bad, you know? Um, and this is actually my first time going into most of these rooms like this. You know, I, again, like I said, I don't usually go in these rooms uh, for pr my personal preferences, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Like, so, uh, I don't like these chairs because sometimes people be sitting in these chairs and, um, you know, I don't, again, I'm not big on kicking people out. So if somebody's like sitting in those chairs for too long, uh, if I don't, if I can't really tell if they're like an actual guest here or what they're doing, then, you know, I might feel the need to, you know, kind of say something. But usually, again, I try to avoid all of that. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going now. I think I'm going in 136. So it's 136. I think I'm just gonna stay in this room for a bit. Um, this is two bed, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna just close these blinds. But yeah, um, so this job is very easy. Probably the easiest job I had other than all of the complaints that I usually have to deal with. Um, I've had uh, a, do a domestic, um, what, what's it called? Um, domestic abuse situation where the police were called and things like that. Like, obviously I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in dealing with, you know, any type of altercations that, you know, involve the police. Uh, but that's, you know, that's, that's what comes with, you know, being at a motel. Like, you know, a lot of times people here, they're going through a lot of problems. Um, and I, I could relate to some of these people, you know what I mean? You could kind of see like it on a lot of people's faces that, you know, the people that live here, um, you know, they're really going through a lot, man. And it's sad, you know what I mean? Especially when the kids, when I see people in here with their kids, uh, I've lived in a motel before, but that was only for two weeks. And I wasn't worried about it because worst case scenario, I knew me and my mom could just move in with my grandparents. So I just knew like, even though we was living in a motel temporarily, it was temporarily some people here. I don't know. I don't know this, you know, the people that got people, someone got kicked out like two days ago. I don't know if they're where they're at right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they had kids, you know, so it's, 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 it's a tough situation to kind of, um, you know, work here, uh, when, you know, you kind of have to run a business but you know you could feel empathy for people and sympathy toward towards people's situations but you can't it's a, it's a, it becomes a conflict of interest if i try to make friends with the people that are here because they want discounts and you know sometimes they can't you know they don't have the money like it's a hundred dollars a day minimum you know what i mean like you're you can't live here and you know say so it's 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 more expensive to live here than it is to have your own apartment and people that are living here it's because they probably have bad credit scores, probably been evicted, um, probably don't have any resources, any friends, any family. It's just, it's real difficult, you know what I mean, to kind of deal with that, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, it's, it's, it's just hard out here. But um, I've been trying to be more appreciative of my own situation. Uh, Cause I know things could be a lot worse for me. So um, yeah, that's kind of just what I've been going through mentally. Just trying to like, you know, tell myself, you know what I mean? I'm not happy with where I'm at today. Things could be so much worse, but you know, I, I could progress, you know, I could save my money. I don't have any kids. Uh, so I look at that as like me being 30 years old without no kids, I don't have any responsibilities. I'm only responsible for myself. Uh, I could save a lot more money. I could, you know, I, and again, I, as long as I have both of my jobs, I'm not gonna immediately be homeless. You know what I'm saying? Like I. Even with a thousand dollars a week, it's like I wouldn't want to like live in a motel. Um, but 
you know, I think I could, I could probably, I could probably get a room here if I, if I, you know, if I really, really wanted to, but mm, I don't want to. But the, the reason that I'm here is, you know, just for that possibility where, you know what I'm saying, I could try to, you know, rent a room three, four days out of the week and if whatever, and I'm, I'm working a 16 hour day, so it's like, I just need a place to sleep, honestly. You know what I'm saying? I don't even, let me um, get out. I think I'm just talking too much. I still gotta check the front desk, making sure nobody comes in. Um, it's slow today, so I don't think anyone will, but you never know. Let's see what's wrong I'm going into next. Uh, what is that? That was 138, so 136. Nah, I ain't gonna go on 136. Um, probably going 208. Okay. But, um, did I hear that? Um, I'm going 208. Um, so yeah, back upstairs. Um, again, it's, it's for me, it's just, look at this. I don't, I don't like when people do this. I, I really don't like when people do that. <sighs> Let me see, 208 is right over here. Two oh eight. Okay, so this is a real good room too. Um, it actually doesn't smell bad in here. That's good, you know what I mean? Some of these rooms have like serious odor. Uh, I don't know why, like people just leave this shit open like that. But probably, I don't know, maybe that's probably the reason why it smells good right here. Um, let me see, show you what I have and show you like the desk area. This has microwave. This is a dick microwave, mini fridge. Um, again, I think for this room, it'll probably be like on a low price, it'll probably be like $120. So, yeah, like, man, um, but personally, man, I, I kind of been back and forth with like, you know, uh, being in a good state of mind and, you know, really depressed and, you know, angry. And so I'm just trying to find a balance within myself because it's just so difficult with everything that I've been through and everything I put myself through too. You know, I mean, I made a lot of, uh, I got to shut this bit. Hold on. This window way too open. But yeah, I made a lot of choices that, you know, was self-inflicted. So, you know, I got to take responsibility for that because, um, you know what I mean? I just, just made bad choices, man. So I'm about to go back down to the lobby, uh, the front desk area. Um, it's not even a lobby, right? Um, Cause I'm so used to working at the hotel, I say lobby. Um, I, it might be considered a lobby, I'm not sure. But yeah. Um, again, it's just for me, just progressing. Nobody's here, that's a good thing. All right, cause I would hate to have somebody waiting for like 20 minutes. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, this is considered the lobby. It says lobby right there. But yeah, um, so yeah, Motel 6. Um, spent, sometimes I walk around uh, just making sure I don't hear nothing crazy. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, I'm just sitting there watching the cameras. I do see things that, you know, I try to, here's the thing, on a personal level, I, I'm on my business, but I work here too. Like I do have a job to do, so. If I'm seeing certain things and I'm just concerned about safety, you know what I mean? Whatever people are doing, I really try to just, you know, keep tabs on it, make sure to see like it's not, you know, what's going on. But uh, as long as it's, it's not a safety thing, it's not um, nobody's life is in danger. It's not affecting any of the guests in the room. To be honest with you, I turn my bl I turn a blind eye to certain things. Uh, because and I don't even have like enough evidence of what's going on anyways. I can only make assumptions of what I think might be going on overnight. You know, um, it's kind of like, it's usually it's been peaceful for me. Um, but there's always that possibility that, you know, something could be going on that could, uh, you know, really cause problems for my shift. 
Uh, but lately, I haven't had nothing too crazy. And I just, you know, I try to make this my job easy as possible um, by really kind of just, you know, waiting for complaints, honestly. Sometimes, you know, I, you know, people come in, they got music party, like seven, eight people in a room. I, I'm not going to say nothing until like there's really complaints for real. Uh, Cause I don't really want to, you know, take anybody's fun away. But again, long as there's no altercations or nothing, I'm kind of just chilling. Um, yeah, just, you know, uh, getting free money basically. You know what I mean? I'm really just giving my time for, I'm trading time for money. So, um, it's, it's a real easy job and, you know, I appreciate that I was able to get this opportunity and I'm just going to try to make the best out of it. But yeah, that's kind of it for me. Um, being at the Motel 6, um, yeah, hope y'all like the tour. It didn't, this is kind of, it didn't like, fl this video didn't kind of come out the way I wanted it to. It's kind of like, you know, I really wasn't sure how to do this, but, um, I'm not going to edit nothing. I'm just going to upload it. But yeah, just trying to slowly progress, honestly. Um.